doing long runs on a manual press with the standard squeegee can be very taxing on your arms, your shoulders, and your back. I'm Mike from TechSource, and this is my review of the ergonomic Easy Grip Squeegee. So when you purchase the Easy Grip Squeegee, it's going to come to you just like this with no blade. And that is designed so that you can get the durometer that you desire. Now I've tried several durometers in this Easy Grip Squeegee, but the one that I found to be the best for my everyday use for whites and just really all the colors is a triple durometer 70, 90, 70. Now, if you put a standard 70 durometer into your Easy Grip Squeegee, the leverage that you get using this thing can really bend the blade where you're printing with almost the front side of the squeegee. The 90 in the middle, the sandwich between the 70, gives it a little more um, rigidity so that you're actually printing with the edge of the squeegee. And so when you get this, um, depending on where you get your blade, they can be a little bit uh, variable in the thickness. It's a lot of times when you go to just slide this in here, it might be a little bit loose. And if that's the case, then what you actually want to do is follow the instructions which comes with the squeegee, where it shows you to just put a piece of tape across the top, and then that makes it a little thicker, and it will stay into your squeegee. So the other thing that uh, you'll want to recognize about this is there's arrows that say arrows face the operator. So when you have this in your hands, these little uh, stubs here will be pointing away from you. Now the other thing is, is that you can use this if you're a pusher or you're a puller. So the debate, it doesn't matter which way you go with this, this is going to work for both if you like to push or you like to pull. Now the first thing you're going to notice about this is it's very lightweight. And at first I have to admit, because there's some flex in here, I worried about how durable it was or if that would affect my printing. But I quickly realized that no, it is definitely can handle the load of printing. And it also, because of it being lightweight, it's going to be a lot easier as far as arm strength that you need uh, to print. Also, see how low this is to the screen. When you're printing with a regular squeegee and you're up here, the blade is a lot further down. So to get pressure, leverage is working against you. Whereas your hands are really close to the edge of the blade, it really allows you to get that torque that you need to push, especially white ink, through the screen. So that is definitely a plus, is just the leverage that you can get with this squeegee. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a little test print here uh, for you. Now I am uh, using a white uh, dream here that we have at TechSource. That's kind of my everyday when I'm printing on cotton. White dream, creamy, love this white. Now the one feature that this does have that other knockoffs don't have is this square right here. And you might be wondering, what is this for? And I almost think that it was built for guys like me that are old school and we like to pull. Because what'll happen is when we go to pull the squeegee, and I'm going to do that right now, see as we, pull, when I lift up the screen, I'm going to hop over and see this handle, I can grab it, and then I can use that to do my back flood, right? So there you have it. As you can see, I really get some bend on that blade, even the 70, 90, 70. It's almost like I have to 
back off a little bit with my strength because I'm so used to using the traditional wooden handled uh, squeegee. And then, you know, I do this thing where I just lift it up a tad and then with my left hand, I do my back flood and that works really well. It's a perfect print, but of course it's on a Pellon. So for all of you ink pushers out there, I'm going to humor you. And once again, with this middle handle here, I can do my front flood like this. And then I can push. Now, like I said, I, I'm not a pusher, so this is uh, going to be a little odd to me. But yeah, I could actually get used to this, by the way. Yeah, another perfect print. So it doesn't matter if you push or pull. This can eliminate a lot of the fatigue that you have in your shop. And the more that I use the squeegee, the more I say to myself, I'm just going to use this across the board, especially on inks that are a little bit thicker, because it's just going to give me that leverage advantage. So when you order one, make sure you also order a blade with it. This is 13 inches, and I like having the blade the same length as the Easy Grip. So 13 inches of squeegee for the 13 inch Easy Grip. It gets two thumbs up from me.